Hello. Hey. hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Lotus tea. You know, Why, it's been thank a long you. Time. Oh, Again, yummy. Cheers. Hello, everybody. Happy Lotus Arising. We are back with Amy, with Amy's Creations. She has a beautiful and amazing place here. The aroma smells incredible. There's incense, there's sage, there's all types of artwork right here behind us that Amy has created. Um, so this is all very exciting for me. Um, how long have you been creating art? Oh, I started since I could remember when I was a kid. Oh yeah, really, <laughs> I've been really doing it a long time. So yes. it was like the first time you really felt like compelled to create something like, like can you recall a time that like, really inspired you? Um, actually, the funny thing is, is I, is I always wanted to do a tree, paint a tree on a wall, mm -hmm. which is hilarious because, <laughs> you know, of course my, my parents said, yeah, okay, you can do that, you know, and, um, but I was only allowed to do it in my closet. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Go to your closet. <laughs> <laughs> so it never got done, um, but that's probably where it inspired me to start at murals. I absolutely... Love doing it's murals. It's funny, like it's like your artwork <laughs> came out of the closet. I know. <laughs> That's almost hysterical. I never even thought about that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. Your artwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's hilarious. And I noticed like a lot of your art is like oceans and sea mm -hmm. life. And I know we're here in the Keys right now. Um, what actually inspires your ocean and sea life? Is it mainly being here or do you love the ocean? Both, actually. Uh, the funny thing is, is growing up, I was very afraid of being in the ocean. And when I ended up moving down here to the Keys, I kept researching all the different, you know, uh, sea life and everything else. And I, I just kind of turned my fear completely into curiosity, learning a lot more. And it just is, it's my zen, place of zen. And you know, and I feel a lot of people feel that way too, so. Does it like uplift your spirits? Like it yes. takes you, like you said, your zen, a place of peace within. It's like no stresses, no anxieties, no uh, phone calls. It's like I'm in my own world. Yes, right absolutely, yes. That's awesome. And what's your, like, what's your favorite type of art to create? Because I do notice you have like shells, you have bags. Um, You've got a lot of different types of rocks and stones. What's what's your favorite thing to paint if you could choose? Maybe wait, maybe one or th or three. We'll give you like three different chooses. You you want to you want to hear actually the um, what I really love to create is when I have somebody that comes in that has an idea and I make their vision come to life. Oh yeah. To me, that I think is my favorite thing. I love that. So yes. That's a wonderful answer. It reminds me of kind of like tattoo artists, how a lot of the times the person will say what their idea is and they're like, well, I kind of want it to be this, but can you, can you give me a few ideas and how can we make this better? And um, it's a beautiful thing to, to have it come to life. Like I had an inspiration for a tattoo idea. It was like a, a spider web in the form of a cage mm -hmm. with like a butterfly like coming oh, out of it how nice and then I, I had the vision when I was in the mountains I s literally saw this like butterfly go out of this uh, spider web so I had to have somebody draw it I'm like can you please like any artist friend that I had yeah. and a friend of mine drew it out for me and um, I can't show you now because I'm wearing pants but like you said, to see you, that yeah. vision come to life is like a beautiful thing. So I'm, I'm sure it's inspiring for you to to be able to add on to somebody's vision and, and really create something. Yeah. Is there anything recent that you've done that you've been like really excited about? Um, actually, you had it in your um, picture. In that, <laughs> yeah, in the original picture, which was it was really awesome to do. It went out to a place in Tampa, Florida called Tampa Lounge. And it has a black light design. So when you shine the black light across it, I mean, it just, uh, you just see the glow behind the skyline. From the, um, and hitting the ocean yes, as well. Yes, and it's reflected into the water, of course, because water is very reflective. Oh, yes. So um, lettering going across that, it just came out so beautiful, yeah. I love the city, I love like the lights, I love the ambiance of the whole um, picture. I'm sure whoever purchased it is really loving it. Oh, it's, yeah. It's an incredible piece. I believe it, uh, it just got delivered last night 
So I'm gonna, after our interview, I'm gonna find out from, from our customer whether he really liked it or not. But he did love it in the photos. I'm sure so, he loved it. It's there yeah. now, so yeah. he gets to have it. <laughs> and who's somebody that you like look up to for inspiration as far as like art or anybody, anybody you look up to? Now that one's a pretty tough question because well, do you know any I artists? Think, do you have any artist friends that are kind of inspiring? I'm yeah, Wyland. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Wyland and Guy Harvey, they they are locals and, and stuff like that, but uh, they had inspired me a lot when I was growing up. I mean, seeing their their work in even on lighters, you know, it would just kind of wow. You know, here's an artist, and his work is getting to the point of you know, so on top of so much different merchandise. You know, I mean, to me, I find that inspiring. You know, to be able to go outside the box oh, of yeah. just a piece of and canvas. And those lighters are becoming very popular in yes. this day. Like, everybody is obsessed with these artistic astral, like, pieces and, you know, the Sagittarius and all the different uh, as zodiac signs and just, mm -hmm. just artistic pieces. Like, people aren't into the red and yellow anymore. Yeah, <laughs> They're like, yeah. they need a little <laughs> spice in sure, their Sure, sure. So, um, do you do like custom pieces? Um, if people are interested in doing something particular, can they ask you or does it depend? Oh no, they can definitely ask me. I, you know, I totally love that. I would probably say about 90 to 95% of my business is actually doing custom works. You know, so you can come into the store and you can actually, you know, just walk away with a piece of art automatically, you know, if it, a quick grab and go. But if you really want something personalized, I'll definitely do, you know, get something done up for you however you want. If you can think of it, mm -hmm. I, you know, I make it happen. So if I wanted like a leprechaun and like a rainbow with like a pot leaf at the end of it. You got it. You <laughs> <laughs> I love it already. See, look, I got my octo <laughs> octopus hookah right there. That's what he's called. It's a. Uh, I, I know it's hard to see on your camera. Mm -hmm. um, do I happen to have one right behind me? No, I don't. Here, may I? Uh, yeah, of course. Show everybody here. This was done on a mural. Octopus hookah. Yeah. So I love that. let's That's see beautiful. if we can let's bring that in. Yeah. So it's a octopus hookah that's, you know, all the fish are kind of token off of them. <laughs> was, that you know, was that a custom design? This is actually off of one of my murals for Miracle Leaf in Key Largo. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh my God, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, love it. so yeah, it's whatever you can think of and, you know, I definitely try to do my best. Yeah. I'm curious, like, what makes... not this is not delicious, not curious, by the way. Oh, thank you. I appreciate Y'all need to have some of this. <laughs> that one today is pineapple <laughs> with raspberry, which oh, seems good. to be a good hit for the fall. Mm -hmm. That and vanilla chai. Ooh. And I also have a salted caramel that's been really nice, too. Uh, <laughs> She's like, I gotta, you had me at salted caramel. So, wait a minute. Where's the bag? I need to find the bag with all the stuff in it. <laughs> Um, I want to know, there's like an ambiance, there's an energy, there's a feel to the keys, like, what is it that makes the keys so inspiring? Oh, I think it's, we just come together as a community, we just kind of relax, we kind of chill, we don't, we're not filled with all sorts of rules and regulations through, you know, I mean, and we live our life at peace, you know, and I, you know, I was, I was born and raised in New York. Um, oh, wow. When I, I know yeah, when I when I left New York, there was there was a lot of rules. Like I felt like every day there was something new coming out, and it Too becomes structure. very stressful. And being born and raised there, I, honestly, you would think I could keep up with it, but I, I couldn't do it anymore. I said, no, I, I'm out. <laughs> I came to Peace. came to the Keys. <laughs> it's very relaxed here, um, and you know, I mean, we do still have you know, mannerisms and rules and stuff, but that's what it boils down to is that, you know, it's just manners more than any kind of rules. And I think that's, you know, very important in Definitely. anybody's life. So, yeah. Well, I like that, that people aren't as crazy on the roads as they are in Miami. They yeah. still are, <laughs> but it's not as bad. Yeah. Um, the moment you cross over the bridge, you're like, ah. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, the bridge at Gilbert's. Yes. As soon as I, I get it every time I go to the mainland, when I come over the bridge, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. And um, where do you see this business going? Where do you see yourself and your art going like five to ten years from now? Well, I would honestly like to see myself um, following a lot of the other great artists out there that have made it happen with having their merchandise out there, having, you know, companies buy their their stuff, you know, and honestly I see that a lot less than, you know, that five, ten year span, you know, so um, I just try to push myself to the limits and then when I think I've gotten to the limits, I keep going further because there's no end to it. You know, and it's like if you feel that there is an end, well, there's something wrong, you know, because there shouldn't be one. That is so true. That is probably the best answer I've had, <laughs> to be honest. Like, this, this is the truest thing that I've heard. Yeah, it's, 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 the path doesn't end, it's a cycle, and we don't want to, like, repeat old patterns because then we're not going to grow forth. So if we're constantly evolving in our thought of how we do things, then your art is gonna, your craft is gonna get better, your, yes. your energy with your uh, clients are gonna get better, everything's gonna yeah. get better. So the fact that you're so open to creating different types of um, art and styles, I, I admire that. Oh, thank about you. you. And I'm a huge fan of your artwork, and, <laughs> and I think that everybody here needs to check you out. And with that being said, um, where can people go if they want to purchase your art? Well, first of all, they could probably come here. Yes. I mean, we <laughs> always recommend coming to the Keys. Yeah. You know, uh, if you do come down where uh, it's uh, the Rain Barrel, you'll see a big, huge, beautiful Betsy, um, our spiny tail lobster. She's the largest spiny tail lobster sculpture in the world. Ooh. Okay. Now there's another lobster, but that's a main lobster. Yes. So there's a little difference there. So a spiny tail, she's got it down pat. Um, so you'll see her out in front, take your picture with her. The lobster is the main attractor. Yeah. Uh, that's what will bring you in. Yes, <laughs> and mile marker 86.7. Um, we all go by mile markers down here. So uh, of course the southernmost point buoy is all the way down at mile marker zero. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're 86.7, so we're not too far from Key West and we're on your way in, on your way out. Um, and. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you can't make it to the Keys, um, of course, uh, we have, have my business card. card. Please definitely take a check. You know, take a look. I'm. Um, you can go ahead and email me, call me. I'm Amy's Creations DBA at gmail.com. I do have Facebook and Instagram. My Facebook page is under Amy's Creations of the Florida Keys. Make sure you spell out Florida. Um, and my Instagram is Amy's Creations with an underscore FLK. Please come on and follow me. I'm, you know, we can be friends too. I don't mind, you know. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, check out, uh, follow Natalie, of course. <laughs> Natalia, Natalia underscore Lotus underscore. I knew there was an A in there. <laughs> it's okay. That's a common mistake. <laughs> I have another guy who calls me Natasha, Natalia, everything you can think of other than me. I, I said, think every time that. we see each other, because we always just talk with each other, yeah. we're like, hey, and then <laughs> we, uh, we don't really use names half the time. Not that much. Time. No, we're yeah. always like, hey, girl, how's it I going? I know, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that is so funny. And any um, words of encouragement, maybe for upcoming artists or business owners who haven't fully gotten their foot through the door, maybe they need a little bit of extra positivity or any like words <laughs> of positivity for those people yes you know what I'm um, as far as business owner if you are planning on opening a business uh, it doesn't have to just be with art or uh, the one thing is is that I was sitting on my back porch one night and I just went for it I just signed up I didn't ask anybody I just did it because I felt that it was time and it, absolutely you know so I'm um, and it's okay to get advice from from somebody or what have you else, but anybody at all that tries to put you down, don't let them do it. Don't. You know, just keep moving forward. You have a dream, make that come true. You know, so absolutely. Beautifully said. <laughs> again. I just <laughs> thank you. Cup. Let's cheers to that. Definitely. Cheers. To cheers. That. Thank you guys so much for being a part of Lotus Horizon. Thank Amy, Amy's Creations. Please give her a follow on Instagram. Check out her work. 
uh, message her if you have questions and if you want a custom piece message her she's more than happy to create whatever it is that you have in mind yes and i ship as well so no matter where that you are it easy. yes, yes. <laughs> if you're anywhere she can send to you yeah. so. well in the u.s so, you know we gotta <laughs> narrow that down okay so but it, it broadens it out which is yeah. good <laughs> definitely <laughs> if you're in the u.s yeah. either way so much again just for being here and for spending the time and everybody so please go check out amy of amy's creations underscore fok on instagram and i hope everybody has an amazing saturday night cheers we're loading cheers. always rising until next time bye, bye. bye.